Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from Run the Foot Market here. Today guys, we have received a new SPC. We actually have an end of an era SPC today that I'm going to be talking with you guys about uh, investment wise and what this means for the market going forward and what I think uh, could happen in the future. So if you guys do enjoy the video today, make sure you guys drop a like. Uh, th these videos are investment videos. They're trading. They're, they're supposed to help you guys make some coins. So we have this pure low here. It does look very, very, very nice. 99 passing. Guys, if you guys have the coins, it's basically a free 91 rated card. Uh, there's a weekly objective with a pure low that you need to submit uh, to get this pure low. And you just need to go score three, uh, I think, lob through balls online in, in online single matches, which I've done in two games. It's very easy. Um, and you submit that in there. And then this one, obviously, I've already done this SBC, but you needed one Milan player, one Inter player, one Juve player, uh, two Italian players, and an 83 team rating with 80 chemistry. So... Here's what I'm going to tell you guys right now. If you have 83 rated investments for Team of the Week SPCs that happen to be players like uh, Bonaventura, uh, I think Perrin's up. There's some left wingers up. Take a look at them right now because, guys, if you guys invested in them for Team of the Week SPCs, they are absolutely flying right now. Bonaventura is go he's extinct. He's literally extinct. He's 10K on Xbox, um, which is insane. You could have picked this guy up last night for 2.5, and you don't know what's coming. It's just pure luck. So some of you guys who invested in him for Team of the Week SPCs, say you bought 50, you're going to make so many coins, it's not even fair. So sell them now. Don't wait for Team of the Week SPCs with those. Those are a complete sell right now. There are some wingers right now that are up in price in the in the Kelsey Wild, like Nani. Nani's hugely up in price right now. And he doesn't play uh, for, for any of the teams that are required, but he's a guy that provides really good chemistry uh, in, in that league. And you do need 80 chemistry, and they, it is a winger formation. So the wingers are up a lot. I know I, I have some Cali Hones. Um, which I'm going to be selling pretty soon. And I know they're up big time. They're up at 6.5K, which is insane. So, guys, I would sell these uh, within the next 24 hours. Some of these cards, they're very up in price. Now, the move right now, and there's a few moves you guys can make, and that's why I'm making this video, right? So, Pirlo's great and all. You can get them, and that, that's very cool. But the, the thing that I'm making this video about is, look, there are 83s right now that are going down like big, and you need to hop on them. Because 83s are being panic sold like crazy right now. Okay, Danilo Pereira is not being panic sold. But, um... Let me think of somebody like uh, Rui Patricio. Let's think about a random goalie that's playing. Let's see what he's at. Because he was at 2.4K before this SPC today. And now it looks like you can get some 83s for under 2K, which is something that you guys need to go on because we should be getting a Team of the Week SPC uh, by the end of Monday. If we don't get one, then the code was fake. It wasn't fake, but then EA just decided not to do it. Um, so, guys, I think that's one of the looks you can make right now. But I think the biggest thing that's telling me uh, to talk to you guys about is the thing, the idea that I think because we got Pirlo today, I think what that means is that we could be getting Kaka next Friday. This Pirlo, as you can see, if we go look into the SBC uh, tab, Pirlo actually expires. Where is he? We got to find him, guys. Oh, no. We just had him. No. Uh, Pirlo expires in six days, which means that I believe we could be seeing another end of an era player uh, as the Footmas promotion would run out in about oh, 10 days from now. I think we could totally see uh, another, another. I think it's actually 14 days left. So two weeks left at the Footmas. Technically, guys, Footmas goes till January 2nd. So I think we could be seeing another one, uh, and I think Kaka might get one. So you're coming to this video, and you're saying, hey, okay, so now everyone's focused on Pirlo, and the number one thing an investor would do was go focus on somebody else. So we've seen today that 80 to rating, 80 chemistry, and I would assume that Kaka might be 84. I don't know. He might be a little bit better than Pirlo. So what's the move, guys? I really think the move is you guys need to go, and you need to go by Jon Jonas... Uh, there's certain players that I think are very good buys right now because 83 Brazilians are are something that should fly for Kaká in my opinion. Like these should literally fly. Um, I think it's I think it's I think we will get Kaká. I can't see them only doing one end of end of an era player. Um, Fabinho's another one. Look at 83s, man. That are 83s, 84s. That are they're Brazilian. It looks like some of these are actually up a little bit. Uh, but try to find ones that aren't inflated. I think that is a really good look within itself because I do believe that we should be getting Kaká next Friday. Um, and something else to look for is like, hey, you know, what, what guys link to Kaka, like, or, or what guys in an SBC would help out? Like right now, I'll show you guys because, uh, you need Via for, you need MLS players at some point, I think, or I, I don't know. I just know that Vitolo's up, Vitolo's up like crazy right now because of links to David Via in some SBC. So uh, if you start thinking like that and you start figuring out, hey, like, I think this guy, if there's a certain link for Kaka, like I'm, I'm trying to think like. Maybe that, you know what? Maybe him. Like, maybe we look right now together and we look at uh, Lucas on PSG. Maybe Lucas is a player that's going to fly up in value uh, due, to, due to links and, and things like that. Let's look right now if he's even up in value. So, Lucas is still 2.2K, which is really cheap. I would say Marquinhos is not a bad shout. 
yeah he i mean he's he's going up right now because i think people are starting to predict that he's gonna he might be uh that he might be coming and that is too cheap because that's a right forward okay that's a position change but yeah guys like you need to start thinking like that and if we go back really quickly and we do actually uh go look at at pirlo um so actually mls players are up right now for alessandrini that's that's the biggest thing so people are linking vitolo with uh with david via because you do need an 83 rated squad so that's what people are doing and that's why he's up um so it's just a dumb luck of that but for for general investments for next friday right and if you do have this right now guys please go check your club for any of these players right here they're all selling in in very high amounts even the 80s 81s 82s if you have any players from these teams they're all selling for high values like no lie you guys can make good money if you just go, go and check your clubs from this video you're gonna make good money but let's think ahead for kaka like what what could Kaká actually need? And I would say he's played for Real. He played for Milan. So maybe, don't buy the Milans, but if any cheap Real players, guys, like, go stack your club with, with cheap Real players. I'm pretty sure that they will at some point go up, uh, especially because they do require one of those. And then think, well, what's the halfway point between, you know, Real and Milan? What links the two teams? Um, and if we go look, you know, let's let's go right now. Let's go onto the market, right? And let's see in, in the in, on Milan... Who is a player that could you could potentially link to Real Madrid? Is there any is there any Brazilian on Milan? And I wouldn't buy it now, guys, because it's super inflated. But this is the way you you guys all need to start thinking. Are there any Italians on Real Madrid? I, I'm not sure. Um, are are there any? Okay, Argentina. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to get a gauge right now, guys, and see like is there a move that you guys could all make uh, to prepare for Kaká next Friday? Because that's where my head's at right now. You know, this is out. You sell what you have, and now you move on. You move on to next Friday, and, and you get ready for that. Uh, so let's see because guys realistically with 80 chemistry you can do like hyperlinks it's not a hundred chemistry you can just do like little triangles uh, on the squad to get the chemistry uh, requirement filled but this is kind of like one of those things where if you can figure out who is the link that you would need that's like where you make the money that's the big time money that's the jackpot uh, Brazilians French uh, Spanish Brazilian uh, nothing crazy here I don't think I you know no Argentina players ah oh, man so Real doesn't really look like they actually have but I would say, guys, that that obviously I think the Spanish players, Casemiro is not a bad one. It just depends. And and here's the deal. Like, I would tell you guys, go buy 86s and all that. But realistically, I don't think Kaká will be more than an 84. They made this so easy to do. Uh, it's, it's insane how easy this is to do. You can get a 91 rated player for an 83 squad rating with 80 chemistry, which makes me think, I don't know how expensive they're actually going to make Kaká. I don't know if he's going to be that... that hard to do and and that's the thing you guys need to play realistically so i think again we're looking at a potential kaka spc coming up uh next friday i i think it's a good possibility i don't see us only getting one end of an air spc especially as kaka is retired this year as well i know buffon is retiring but he hasn't retired yet so i don't think he'll get one um but just take a look because i think i think it's something that if you can get right with investments you know you're gonna do great and let's go check really quickly and let me show you another thing so you know guys for the for the daily challenges like we have this we had the, the Pirlo, right? But I think that expires in six days. See, yep, the weeklies expire in six days. So maybe you expect that you could get a Kaká in six days. That's just something that I think is, is something that could totally possibly happen. And it's something where if you get ahead of the train and you get ahead of everybody else and you start investing, it's a way where you could make a lot of money. Like, the people, no one expected this today, right? But the people who somehow got on the requirements quickly or had a ton in their clubs, you're going to make a ton if you guess, or if you don't guess, but you get the the pure low requirements right because everybody's gonna do it because it's relatively cheap you know so that's just something to keep in mind guys i hope like these kind of videos i'm trying to make these kind of videos so it can help you guys uh get ahead with investments going forward it's, it's they're not just videos man these are videos to try to make you guys money so i hope this video guys, helps you guys if you guys did enjoy the video today make sure you guys smash a like and let me know down in the comments below are you guys doing pure low i'm personally doing them i've already played all the games i just need to submit his footmas card into the sbc i think it's a steal for money i always tell you guys when i think something is too cheap i think that's too cheap to do you guys got to do it whether you're a hardcore nycfc fan or you're a car collector or you're just an average foot player with 100k you guys got to do it man that's only 30 it's like 35 40 000 coins from scratch without a freaking um inform or anything it's, it's 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 a really easy thing to do and then you obviously just have to go do the objective in the online uh online single matches so that's all i got for you guys today man i hope this this video helps you guys with investments and all that kind of stuff i appreciate y'all watching i'm gonna head out boys peace Get your